Hello everybody and welcome to my little experiment. Um, today I compared the native Linux Arc version versus the Windows Arc version running through Wine and also with DirectX Vulkan enabled. For those of you who don't know DirectX Vulkan, DirectX Vulkan is not from Microsoft, it's not included in the DirectX framework, it's an external, well, let's call it tool, which basically, no, not basically, it runs DirectX games via Wine on Vulkan. So there is some sort of translation made between the DirectX graphics API and the Vulkan API so that Windows games using DirectX 10 11 or maybe 12 I'm not sure about this one um, running better through wine on Linux than they do now for maybe maybe one of some of you uh, also already tried some different up-to-date Windows titles on Linux and in most cases it probably will run like uh, shit or you have to expect some strange graphic glitches or whatever there are a bunch of different stuff which can happen and yeah this is the native Linux Arc version which looks very ugly our graphics are set to epic it's German epish epic um, yeah this don't need to look like this I know OpenGL I know what OpenGL is capable of and I also know that it could look much 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 better with a better FPS and a similar GPU usage. I'm not sure what's going on here or what the major problem with this. Maybe I don't understand everything. Well, however, yeah. This version is totally playable. No offense. This uh, stable, it don't crash, you have sound, you can make everything which is possible in Arc, but it just looks a little bit different. So, yeah. This might be sometimes a little bit annoying if you look at this and then compare it to the Windows version. I recently made a video about that one. Um, you may know my... You may already know my Arc Linux versus Windows version and what upsets, upsets me video. And uh, yeah, I thought I have got more enabled infinite stats so yeah yeah and yeah as i told you i did some experiments and also running the windows version so um for those of you who want to see a little bit more about direct working you can watch my witches 3 video there i also use DirectX vulcan to play the game on linux it was pretty easy you just want the lutris install and everything is fine and yeah I modified some wine prefix in Lutris to make Arc run. I basically just enabled DirectX Vulkan and changed the wine version to 3.9, I think. But you will see it later on. So, yeah. Because, um, oh, yeah, uh, w w one thing I, I uh, did not, sh I, I want to show you also is this one. This is a little overlay, it's called Kongi which shows some CPU usage and GPU usage and temperature and everything else while the game is running. So, because we don't see it right now, I need to do some tricks with, oops, was the wrong key combination. I do some tricks with KDE, Alt F3, and say Windows all the way in background. So, we have Kongi in the foreground and yeah, Arc running in the background. I need to run desktop recording for this and yeah, as you might know from, from other videos I made use X composite instead window recording than desktop recording if you want to record 3D applications like this one. This might be a little bit uh, laggy. Yeah, you see the GPU usage is about 74%, uh, maybe sometimes 80, depends on where you are, however, it could be better. There were times where the GPU utilization was about 40% and lower. You can probably watch my um, other art video I did. On that topic yeah and I think I have everything set so far for this part so let's switch over to the Windows version yeah because I
thought I was smart and want, wanted to save some time, I used the same installation directory for the Linux Arc and for the Windows Arc, but yeah, if you start the Windows version, it will delete Linux files and the Linux version need to patch itself and if you run the Linux version, it will delete Windows related files and they need to be patched again. So, we see you after I patch 12 gigabytes. Uh, we see each other after I patch 12 gigabytes. That's a correct pronouncement. Ah. Hello and welcome back to the second part where I will show you the actual Arc Survival Evolved, which is Arc Survival Evolved DirectX 11, DirectX Vulkan version, which is installed in my Doom prefix. So here are the basic settings of the runner. I'm running it on Wine Stacking 3.9. 64 bit and I have DirectX Vulkan 0.52 enabled. The rest is on default settings. Here's just the Vulkan HUD enabled with some minor settings. So, yeah, I will run this prefix and it will bring up um, the Windows Steam after it has loaded. Now, eh, sometimes I have this issue that I need to start it again. Because it thinks um, there is no internet connection, but there is an internet connection. So let's try it again. And there we go. There we got it. So we play. Just showing you that this is running through Wine. You see, manufacturer is the Wine project, model is Wine, which is basically completely wrong. If we take a look at the uh, OS, there is Windows 7, 64-bit, Wine version, Wine 3.9, stagging, and so on. So yeah, there is basically Wine, and I will run, run, run the Windows Arc version with DirectX Vulkan. There's only one issue I currently have, that is there is no sound, as you can hear or not hear. Currently, I have no fix for this, but if I do, I will let you know. So. We start a start 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 a local game. Go in single player, and yeah, I show you how it works, and how it runs, and how it looks. And yeah, it does definitely look so much better than the native version, which is sad because it runs nearly as good as the native version with a higher GPU load and yeah, more fancy graphics. So. Now we wait. Yeah, the loading screen is also missing. I'm not clearly sure if there might be some other glitches. So yeah, here we go. It's a bit laggy because of the desktop recording. But I, for this I need the desktop recording because I want to show you the Kongi to take a look at the GPU usage, which is by 99, 97%, sometimes 100%. So you can see the GPU load is very high and better as in the on the native version. And to get better screencast results, I will now switch to the window recording. I will select Arc, as you can hear, uh, as you can see, and disable. Enable this and disable this. So now I need to put Kongi for me in the background again. So yeah, let's continue. So now everything runs much smoother. Yeah, and you can see we have about 40 FPS and it looks so much better. Yeah, the only issue is there is currently no sound and yeah, I'm still on fixing out why fixing finding out why there is no sound and uh, try to fix this yep but this is it for now you see it runs it looks pretty good it's it's a uh, Dilophosaurus come on come on come on boy come on yeah go away so yeah there's no sound that's odd so thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye. Hello and I'm back and I found a fix for a little sound issue. I was about to render the final video and then upload them. 
As I tried a little bit something, I just looked up my Witcher 3 Wild Hunt preset where on the render options I knew there was this key X Audio 27 a native build-in which pretty sounds to me like it had something to do with audio because the word audio is in it. And yeah, I just copied those values from there to here to the runner options and voila. The sound was back on. Yeah, just believe me, I don't want to restart ARC right now and waiting it until it had loaded and so on. So yeah, the sound will then work. Thanks for your patience and bye bye.